Okay, in this video, we are going to discuss the Taylor series. For Taylor series, we have a simple formula of f of x equals to f of a plus f prime of a into x minus a. You can generate a next term by differentiating this term and dividing by 2 factorial and every time you have to increase the power of x minus a by 1. So each next term take next derivative, divide by n factorial and multiply by x to the power minus a, x minus a to the power n. So you can generate this Taylor series. So first term is f dash a into x minus a. Then we have f second derivative of a and divide by 2 factorial x minus a. Rule is very simple. Take next derivative, divide by n bar, multiply by x to the power minus a to the power n, where n is the derivative. For quadratic approximation, you have to take the first two terms, three terms. And for linear, you have to take the first two terms. So we'll use this equation and demo how to develop the Taylor series for e to the power x sin x. So here are the sum Taylor series examples are here available. Let's consider here that f of x equal to cos of x. So what we do first is that we'll take a multiple derivative of this one. If we take the first derivative, we'll get a minus of sin x, minus of sin x. If you take one more derivative, then what you get is f double dash x equals to minus of cos x. And derivative of sin x is cos x and minus will come here. If you take the third derivative, we have f triple dash x equals to minus minus will become plus of sin x. All derivative we can generate like this. And we want a term for cos x. So we have cos x equals to f of a. So f of a will be f of a will be cos of a. Then x minus a. So we have x minus a into the first derivative. That is minus of sin x. But we have to solve this term at a. So we have replaced x by a. Similarly, we can generate x minus a whole square divided by 2 factorial. This will be cos of a. So we will continue with the x series first. Plus x minus a whole cube by 3 factorial into sin of x. So if the power is 1, then you have to divide by factorial of it. If power is 3, you have to divide by factorial of 3. So this one is sin of a. Now suppose we want to find out the series at a equal to 0. That is called as Maclean series. So just go on putting a equal to 0, you will develop a series of a cos x. So we have cos of x equals to cos of 0 is 1. So we have cos of 0 plus x minus a, that is x minus 0, divided by 1 factorial is 1, minus sine of 0 plus x minus 0 whole square upon 2 factorial minus cos of 0 plus x minus 0 cube divided by 3 factorial into sine of 0. So if you solve this, you will get the series of cos x. Cos 0 is 1. The value of sine 0 is 0, so second term will vanish. This value is 0. So entire term will vanish. Then we have second term is x square and minus cos of 0. So it is minus of x square divided by 2 factorial. Then the third term will vanish because sine of 0. So we want to develop the fourth term now. For this we will take one more derivative, that is the fourth derivative of x, which will be cos x. The fourth term will be x to the power 4 by 4 factorial into cos of 0. So this is a series. Similarly, we can develop the series for sin x. So we have f of x equals to sin of x. So we will go on taking the continuous derivative of this term. So the first derivative will be cos x. Again we take derivative, we will get the second derivative is minus of sin x. Likewise we have third derivative is minus of cos x. The fourth derivative will be again sin x. So this time we will use the standard formula and we will put for a equal to 0. And we will substitute for this. So fx is equal to sin x. First term is sin of a that is sin of 0. Plus the derivative term is cos x. So it is cos of x that will be cos of 0 and x minus a is same as x only plus second derivative is minus of sin x will be minus of sin 0 divided by 2 factorial into x minus a whole square x minus a a value is 0 so it is x square plus we have third derivative which is equal to minus of cos x so it is minus of cos 0 divided by 3 factorial into x cube because a is 0 
Likewise, we can generate the fourth term also. So first term here is 0. This term will be same as x. This term will be 0. And this term will be x cube. But will be minus term. So this is minus x cube by 3 factorial. So alternate sign will be plus minus will come. Then next term will be x to the power 5. Divided by 5 factorial. So this is generalized series in the case of sin x. Just take the continuous derivative, use the formula and solve it. Take another example for series of f of x equals to e to the power x at a equal to 0. So we are going to use the same formula of Taylor series. Remember all derivative of e to the power x will be same as e to the power x. So we will just go on putting here f of a will be same as e to the power a that will be e to the power 0. The derivative of this term is same as e to the power x and a is again to be 0. So it is e to the power 0 into x minus 0 is same as x. Second derivative also remains same that is e to the power 0 divided by 2 factorial. x minus a, a is 0 so it is x square plus. So the series will continue. So if we solve this we will get 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial. So this is standard expansion of e to the power x. If we have right turned on the next term it will be x cube divided by 3 factorial. In case of sin x you will get alternate plus minus sign and we have all odd powers. Similarly we can solve this series for any number of a say equal to pi by 2 so you just go on replacing all value of a equal to pi by 2. So you can remember the standard series. In e to the power x we have all terms and all terms are positive. Then in sin x we have alternate plus minus term and power is odd. And in terms of cos we have even power but alternate plus minus. So odd power means sin, even power means cos and all powers with positive sign means e to the power x. Remember this power is odd in the case of sin. Power is even in the case of cos. So we'll take a simple numerical base on this one. In gate examination they ask you simple numerical base on Taylor series. Like this one, the find the linear approximation of e to the power minus x at x equal to 2. Linear equation means that you have a straight line equation which consists of y is equal to a0 plus a1x. It means that the maximum power of x is 1 permitted. If we want to know the quadratic equation, then we have a equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square. So this time we can generate the second order equation. That is non-linear equation. So we have f of x this time is e to the power minus x. So we will take the derivative first. We will get minus of e to the power minus x. So only one derivative is required for linear approximation. So to find the linear approximation we use the same Taylor series. In this case we want to find out only first two terms. That is f a and f derivative at a x minus a. Rest term ought to be neglected. And you have to put x equal to 2. So f of a will be equals to itself is equal to e to the power minus x will be x is equal to 2 you have to put so it is e to the power minus 2. Now you have to substitute for derivative as minus of e to the power minus x is e to the power minus 2 into x minus a. So what you get is e to the power minus 2 minus of e to the power minus x a is replaced by 2 x minus 2. So e to the power minus 2 can be taken common. We have e to the power minus 2 into 1 minus x plus 2. So we get 1 upon e square equal to 3 minus x. So this is the linear approximation of e to the power minus of x around x equal to 2. In this equation you have to find out the coefficient of x minus 2 to the power 4. Now x minus 2 to the power 4 it means that we are basically interested in the fourth derivative. So fourth derivative divided by 4 factorial will be the coefficient here. So you have to first find out what is the fourth derivative in this case. So we have f of x equal to e to the power x. So first derivative will be same as e to the power x. Even the second derivative is also e to the power x and all the derivative will be equal to e to the power x. Hence the coefficient will be the fourth derivative divided by 4 factorial. 
will be same as e to the power x, but you have to put x equal to 2. So it is e square divided by 4 factorial.